Hi, I'm Kelly from NTI, and in today's video, we're going to talk about introduction to leadership. Um, I've worked with transport operators uh, across New Zealand and Australia for the last 20 years, and I think this is one of the greatest areas where we need to develop um, as an industry and, and, and in various sectors. We're going to talk in today's video about the difference between leadership skills and management skills and why they're both so important. We're going to talk a little bit around um, how to develop those skills as a new leader and what might be some of the pitfalls to look out for. I'm joined today by two of my colleagues from NTI, the fantastic um, Marty Corey and Janelle Green. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. Well, let's start with an easy question, um, you know, just to kick off the topic of leadership. How would you guys define leadership? What do you think it is? I believe it's creating an environment for, for people to get better, not just be satisfied with good. You know, creating that environment that those people that aren't comfortable speaking up can share their opinion. And I, I think that's important. I agree. I, I definitely think supporting your team, leading from behind and making sure everyone feels like they're achieving success is a big part of leadership. I also think it's setting the vision, setting the plan with your team and then making sure you have the systems, the controls, the capabilities, the people, the measures to make sure you can deliver it. The terms leadership and management get used interchangeably a lot. I think people get really confused by those terms and they think that they're the same thing. How do those terms differ for you, Marty? Do you think, do you see them as different? Oh yeah, 100%. In a management, they're so concerned about ticking off what they've got to do, making sure it's done by the end of the day. Whereas in a leadership, I think you've got the ability to say, time out, let's rethink this. Are we doing the right thing? And I, and I think that's the difference between managing a task and then and leading a team. I've always sort of focused on in leadership that I'm not the one in control of the accelerator. I've only got the brake. You know, so the team's goal is to is the accelerator. My goal is to is to press stop when we need to reassess. I like that a lot. I also think leadership and management for me is management, like you said, is about the task, monitoring systems, controls, and those things are important. But leadership is about inspiration, influence, encouragement, all that uh, you mentioned before, where listening to that person who may not speak up, that's the leadership skill. Whereas management is about um, have we achieved this result? Are we on time? Um, are we measuring success effectively? They're both important, but they are different. What are some of the other ways that you can learn how to be a leader from other people around you? My leadership style and what I've sort of developed into, there was never any training or anything out there. You know, it was sort of what sort of worked for me over the years, you know, what I could read, what I could watch, what I could sort of do. There are some basics that uh, you can just make sure is in your toolbox. I'm going to be available to my people and listen to them. I'm going to set a vision for the department or the team or a, um, a thing that we're looking to achieve or a purpose. I'm um, going to have a weekly meeting where I communicate what's going on. I'm going to check in with my team members regularly. I'm going to make sure people are clear about what their expectations are, that they're capable. Uh, if they're not capable, how can I make sure they're capable? And I'm going to make sure they're motivated. That's sort of paint by numbers leadership and you can uh, build that capability and learn and become a student of leaders. Watch others that are role modeling the leadership style that um, you aspire to. What are some of the other common kind of trip ups that you see for new leaders when they're starting out? Um, you often take someone up from a sales role and put them into a leader role or in any company I've worked in, whether it was Rio Tinto or one of my first jobs was at McDonald's um, or whether it was Enerjax, every company the leaders that are in those companies have come traditionally from an expertise in a domain, whether they were expert in sales or expert in claims or expert in operations. And that's not to say they can't go on to be great and amazing leaders, but it will be with different skills and capabilities than the ones that made them an expert in their original domain. A lot of transport companies are going day to day, week to week, month to month. The clock's your enemy. And I think it's being brave enough to say, hang on, let's stop this isn't working, instead of you know, trying to keep bailing as it's coming in faster, let's, let's stop and, and fix the problem. And I think that's mm -hmm. probably some of the biggest transport companies that have become successful have identified that and then sort of have realised that 
you know, if we can sort of focus on this, some of this stuff with our people, you know, we are going to see see results. You know, but it's such a quick win industry that everyone focuses on that on that quick win, and I and I think that's probably the the hardest part to get across in, in a lot of businesses.